Hey, big blade to put to welcome because I've been waiting a long while for this. My GT Triple D Booster set has finally arrived. The main attraction being Lord Spryzen. The other two important bays are being Sword Dragon and Dustball Cash. Now this is the back of the box, guys. It's most of it is in Japanese, so you won't be able to understand, but we do got some visuals. So let us begin. Alright, so come on, get out of there. Come on. I believe in you. Get out of there. You're making a video. Yes. <sighs> Perfect. Yes. Hands. There it is. I like this stick. It's called sparkly hands. <laughs> Jazzy hands. What? Jazzy I'm hands. You're thirsty. Go get some Kool-Aid. Jazzy hands. Yeah. So my sister is decided to be nice for my video that you all been waiting for and decided to help take the tape off the cardboard and bays. So, so that voila tape mastery and hey, ball cash. Type of stuff. hey don't don't put the tape in the stadium i'm using that i won't do that i won't do that. i won't put the tape in the stadium anymore should we just cut ahead to where you finally successfully do no it? <laughs> well it's gonna waste precious time <laughs> precious time yes it probably will right yeah. I okay I'm finally the doing tape. it. Throw the tape in the stadium again. Finally got the bays. And once we unbag them, we we'll gotta show you. Open okay, first it'll be Sword Dragon, then Dust Ball Cash, and then Lord Spryzen. I'm gonna show you. Hole. Yeah, they got holes in the back for a reason. Okay, after a thousand years of tearing off plastic, we open. finally got it. Okay. Wait, what the frick happened? What is I this? I took apart the bay because I wanted to show my brother the cool gimmick of. The dust layer base. Yo, what the heck? These are really cool. Oh, you'll you'll find them cool. You know what? Since I took Look at this. This is my favorite color of bluish green. It's Alright, I'll put back the layer of dust ball cash. Yeah, I'm boxing some and then bay. we'll then we'll show clips of us putting I'm on the I'm some bay. Yeah. We'll show <laughs> some clips of putting on the stickers, then we'll oh. show the bays. Okay, so you got another sticker. Just gonna try to summon Pop Cat. Okay, now you can pause it again. Okay, just get your next sticker on your bay. Wait, that goes on there? What? What? Tip sticker. That's so pause weird. It. Yeah, look at this. They're so cool. Wait, what is this like white little piece supposed to do? That's a uh, special rubber, sister. Oh, wow. I'll get into more detail. A tip once. sticker. <laughs> okay, pause the video and since I'll be boy. getting more. I'm showing them the tips. And a little ball on this one. So, it, like, what does this ball even do? It's like, I know you have multiple tips of balls on them, but. <laughs> That sounded so long. Out of context moment. Out of context moment. Out of context. That's out of context. And this one's just a normal tip with... Why is this fat? Oh, crap. Nope, nope, nope. Why is this tip fat? Again, I'll be getting into more detail on that. Yeah, no, you gotta video. tell me now why this is fat. It's a special limited edition tip. Oh, wow. Now, the first bay we're gonna be reviewing is Sword Dragon. The chip. The dragon chip. No, 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 no. Fidget, fidget, fidget. Oh, what is Sorry that about that, guys. Fidgeting with a bay there. Now, nah, here's the dragon it. chip. As always, it doesn't have any stickers, but I'm happy to get a new dragon Why chip. Why does it have no no stickers? Because well, it's an attack type chip with decent burst teeth. Now, here's Metsu layer weight, which we already know since it debuted with Zone Lunar, but I'm happy to get a shiny. Metsu layer, wait. And here is my first actual sword layer base. And the other one that I showed with Sword Valchick is actually Hasbo, but this is the Karatomi version. Now, if you don't know how to put this on, just put it in like that. Wait, I have a question real quick. Why does this have no sticker? Eh, I don't Why know. Why everything hey else guys, has stickers? Remember uh, you and here's the layer. 
of the bay. Now here is zero zero, which we all know since it debuted with Judgment Joker that my sister's fidgeting with. And Turbo Achilles. And now he's the super rare tip. Octa. Also, has I'm metal sorry. on it and it has really Also, I'm sorry about good. all the fidgeting. I'm just a fidgety it person. It's really good. This is a disaster for so much interruptions, guys. Stamina type, it's big. It has really good low spin performance. Really does. Now let's test the teeth on this thing. Put it together. Eh. <laughs> it's decent. Not a very good. Not a Wait, very what, good why, why isn't it not... What? What the... There we go. It's working. Teeth are tight on this thing. Next bay we have is Balkesh Chip, which I'll admit it has doesn't look like it has too much good teeth, but that won't be a problem because of this rubber piece called Gen, which I'll show you what it does once you put it on. But in order to insert it, you know, let's move on to the layer base, the Dusk layer base. It looks really cool, right? <laughs> Give it back. <laughs> so Snatch. dusk as a transformer. I'm trying okay, to get okay. it over. Sorry, it. sorry, sorry, sorry. Anyways, this is the dusk layer base. In its default form, you see these little two things, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has really two do. wings right here wings? to do its move called Did dusk. Did it wing. drink Red Bull? <laughs> Red Bull gives you wings. But as hold on, I'm gonna borrow seven real quick, but as luck progresses. I mean, like, in this form, it can't even move, but as lock progresses, the two little wings spread out. Oh, and it has a hidden gimmick without the getting layer weight. Pushing the wings, it heals itself. But if you get it right here, and if it strikes right here, it can't even burst. But anyways, back to the topic of the layers gimmick. It moves, and it forms a perfect circle. Well, with the Gen layer weight, which I'm going to be putting it on like this. Has a little semi triangle right there. Put in the chip like that. It's lightweight. Yeah, since it has none of the metal pieces surrounding this. But as this moves, the rubber interferes and uh, makes it makes the bay harder to burst. Now we have the disc which I showed you was seven and wall. Which wall does tend to scrape a lot, I'll give you that. But eh, you know. Focus and now he's an upgraded tip. Orbit, which is now upgraded into Orbit Metal. It seems like it has some good stamina. Now, let's go ahead, put it in its perfect circle form. Put in the disc. And now let's test out the burst resistance. Bro, I, I can't even feel it. It's like sliding. Bang. Now let's move on to the main attraction. Lord Spryzen now. Here we have Spryzen. Oh, the teeth look good, although it's just three Wait, clicks as it see. seems. But now it's a dual spin chip. Yeah, Here. This is beautiful. Here, let me grab a Joker's layer base and Lunor's layer base real quick to show you the concept. Alright, so the difference between these chips is that here we have Joker's... Oh my gosh. Here we have Joker's chip right here, which is specifically for right spins. Lunar's GT chip, which is meant for left spins, but Spryzen, as always, is meant for both. Here, see? Joker, I mean, Lunar can't fit Joker's, uh, the Judgment layer base, and Joker can't fit the Zone layer base. Well, guess what? Spryzen fits the Judgment layer base, and he fits the Zone layer base. Pretty neat gimmick. Here is the Lord layer base. It's a dual spin layer base with metal... Integrated burst stoppers right here and offensive rubber like Joker. This bay literally has everything. And it switch spins, which is currently right spin. You just grab it, twist it until it clicks. No tool required. It's in left spins, so guess what? Left spin's my go-to, so I'm gonna keep it in left spin. Now we have the Blitz Disc, which is supposed to be for Sword Valtria. This is what the gimmick is. Why does it keep doing that? Anyways, the wings fly up like that whenever it's spinning. Now, here's the main, here's another tip. Dimension Dash, which we are familiar with. Dash Spring. You have so many modes with this tip. Such as low balance mode and high attack mode. Now, let's put this bay together for the teeth test. Oh, boy.
That's tight. That's near unburstable. Oh my god. Oh now my goodness, that's a heavy bay. That's a very heavy bay. So, let's situate. Wait, it. let me compare them to this one. Lightest, middle, heavy. Yeah. All right. First two points in every battle wins. First okay. up, Lord Spryzen versus <laughs> versus Sword Dragon. Oh, see, two more. There we go. Here we go, Lord Spryzen. I swear to gosh, if the second bay you threw in there wins, I'm gonna be kind of fuzzled. Oh, Sword Dragon seems unbalanced. Oh my gosh, the one you said, what? How? That they had enough time to go around the stadium at least one Lord time before the second one. You know, I'm just going to make the very first battle one point. As I want to get to Dust Ball Cash since I think he looks the coolest. Now, one more round with Sword Dragon versus Lord Spryzen. Uh, come on. Let's see how good Lord Spryzen is at Drain Spin. It's been pretty good so far. And Spryzen won the battle. Now for Sword Dragon to go up against Dust Ball Cash. Oh, Dragon took a click, two clicks. Great. Let it. Oh, ring out finish for Dust Ball Cash. Let's see the burst damage of this guy. None. He must have used Duskwing, which is the signature move of one of the signature moves of Dust Ball Cash, where Blink the Void just announces it and then attacks with the wings. Yeah, Blint the Void is the owner of Dust Ball Cash, by the way. My, my, the recoil. It's insane. All right, now is the three point battle. Oh, he was using Dust Circle. Dust Circle. This is another signature move. Oh my gosh. Well, Kesh crazy. Tall balance mode for Spryzen. Three point battle. Three, two, three, two, one. Let it rip. Let it rip. Now, Spryzen. Lord Slam. Oh, these bays are gonna do nothing, I can tell. Getting there. No, how about we change the mode again? This time to medium balance mode. Three, two, one. This time the offensive rubber should do the trick. Lord Wick. The wall frame took its toll. Yeah, these two bays haven't taken any burn damage whatsoever. You know what? I'm gonna end off the I'm gonna end the video early right here. I'm sorry, but I don't wanna waste my time. So, who's your favorite bay out of this set? Sword Dragon, Lord Spryzen, or Dust Ball Cash? Let me know down in the comments because these are really high bays. I have to say, Lord Spryzen is my first since it's the main bay, but. I like Dust Ball Cash too. He's so awesome. Just changing from this to this. Anyway, see y'all.